All right, good evening. Uh, well, it's good evening where I am at the minute. Um, so, um, today basically I wanted to show um, how I changed the, uh, the Freestyle Libre, um, which is this. Um, I've been using it for since, since 2014. That's about six years now. Well, on and off. I used the G6 for a year or so. Uh, so um, what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna clean and prepare the uh, the the spot, and then I'm gonna insert the uh, new one, uh, activate it, and just wait for it to calibrate, uh, and then just uh, keep an eye on it, make sure uh, the reading is correct. So first of all, I'm gonna start with uh, opening this up. So basically, that's where the sensor is, and the little film that goes in. And this is the the rest of the sensor, which will attach to um, the needle in there, um, and then you apply it on your skin. What I intend to do is, and I touch wood, I've never failed a sensor. Um, it's always worked. I had a couple of bleeders, but um, it wasn't major, so I, I kind of ignored them. I never had to, never had to remove a sensor off me. Right, so put it together like that. And what you, what, what is best to do is basically just trying to put it on somewhere flat, like that. And when you press, you need to press uh, vertically. Um, so basically, use your logic. You, you don't want it into an angle. Or twisting or anything like that just keep it straight and then just press down when you press down just make sure that you're actually touching every side of it and then you just pull it out okay making sure that the making sure that the uh, the needle is is there and um, I don't know if you can see it there and vertical and uh, basically Normally, I would pre I would prep the skin first, uh, but um, it doesn't really matter. It only takes a second. So I'm going to put it on this arm. Just give it a quick wipe, and then um, I I to be honest, I inserted it everywhere in the arms, in the thighs, in the stomach. Um, I haven't seen any major difference to be honest um, so I'm gonna put it on the arm here for the sake of showing it so I'm gonna put choose this spot here just right where where there is a little bit of fat uh, it's hard to find any fat on me to be honest I'm a bit skinny so just find a bit of fat put it against it there and then when you push obviously push against your arm vertically against your arm yeah there one two let me just show it one, two, three, push. Didn't feel anything. And then you put it out. Obviously, when I pushed, I made sure that it's, it's very well pushed against my skin on every angle. You can see that the tape is already in. Just make sure it's all in on, and on every edge. And that's it, voila. And then now, I'm gonna go to the app. Oop. and it's saying your sensor has ended so I'm gonna just scan it okay it's already scanned it and it just says uh, sensor started already in 30 minutes okay um, I use an app called uh, extra plus you may have heard of it and it's connected um, uh, to my phone, uh, to my watch. So, oop, sorry, just showing my watch. So that's the watch, and it's saying ten point six at the minute. That's reading off the um, reading off the phone, and I've got it. Um, I've got it showing all the time. That you can't see it because it dims out, but it's always on. Uh, so that's it basically that's how you uh, insert a new sensor I'm just going to remove the old one um, how I remove the old one I um, I use this um, Unisolve uh, it's on Amazon 
and basically I just pour a little bit of it um, on the old tape and on the old tape and then just give it a few seconds and then it just comes off so easily and obviously you just wipe that old place um, um, I just mentioned that I use the um, X-Strip uh, Plus, uh, I use this with Meow Meow, the interface that changes the NFC, so it reads from the sensor using NFC and transfer it to the phone using uh, Bluetooth, and then from my phone to the watch using Bluetooth. Sounds like a lot of fuffing about, but honestly once you've got it set up, um, unless, you unless you have a problem, it just it does work. Uh, what it doesn't work is usually is that you have to turn off the um, Bluetooth and back on. Lifesaver uh, gives you a bit of um, a state of mind, especially when you go to bed and you're thinking that your sugar may go down. You've got a little bit of reassurance that um, you don't have to actually um, have your blood high so you don't go, you, you don't dip low in the middle of the night. My sugar is 10.6, uh, it's, it's a little bit high, it's because I just had dinner. Um, but my, my readings, as you can see through the day, is, is, not, is not as bad. So it does go up and down, obviously, as you, as, as you expect it. It's gone up there. And all, all what I do, we just have to bolus for it. Uh, I, I use the Omnipod. So for the last seven days, my... Um, that, the green is um, within four to uh, nine, and HbA1c estimate is forty-seven, which is quite good. I'm, I'm happy with that. Um, it's not always the case when I get a cold. Obviously, it's all over the place, but at the minute, sometimes I feel it's manageable, which is now, and sometimes it just does your head in. But that's normal. Um, so yeah. Um, thank you for watching this video. I hope it's helped somebody and um, well done for keeping up with your diabetes because it's not an easy job and good luck uh, with your lives. Catch you later.